In recent months, increasingly alarming forecasts have been circulating in the tech world, suggesting that the undisputed leader of the global semiconductor industry NVIDIA may, for the first time in decades, face a real threat to its dominance. According to reports in respected outlets such as the Financial Times, Nikkei Asia, and the South China Morning Post, a number of Chinese manufacturers are preparing to unveil their own next-generation chips in the coming months. Chips that, they claim, will far surpass NVIDIA's existing products in both power and energy efficiency. And if these claims turn out to be even partially true, they could trigger a domino effect with consequences that would impact not only the U.S. stock market, but the global economy as a whole. Today, NVIDIA's chips form the backbone of nearly the entire artificial intelligence sector. From Silicon Valley Labs to Microsoft, Amazon, and Google data centers, the entire modern AI infrastructure runs on CUDA architecture and H100 accelerators, which have effectively become the industry standard. Without these chips, the most advanced language models cannot function, computer vision systems cannot be trained, and military algorithms for intelligence analysis cannot be deployed. But herein lies the greatest vulnerability. If a competitor emerges capable of offering more powerful and cheaper solutions, the balance of power could shift instantly. Insiders cited by Bloomberg claim that real panic is spreading within NVIDIA's leadership. In public, CEO Jensen Huang confidently insists that all rumors about Chinese revolutionary developments are greatly exaggerated and that NVIDIA has at least a five-year technological lead. But sources familiar with the situation describe a very different picture. Emergency closed-door meetings are being held at the Santa Clara headquarters, and certain departments are working around the clock in rotating shifts. The most pressing concern is what will happen if Chinese chips match NVIDIA's in performance but come to market at a much lower price. After all, the market today is not just about technology, it is also about cost. And China is known for its ability to scale production quickly and enter markets with unprecedented volumes. According to Nikkei, three Chinese companies, Huawei, Byron Technology, and More Threads, are preparing to announce new products in the coming months. While none of them have officially confirmed specific dates or specifications, Industry insiders are actively discussing the possibility of breakthrough architectures capable of ending NVIDIA's monopoly. In Beijing, this is presented as part of a national strategy of technological sovereignty. Chinese state media are already running headlines declaring that the era of American monopoly on artificial intelligence is coming to an end. And these are not just bold words. Under sweeping sanctions imposed by the U.S. on semiconductor supplies to China, Beijing has invested tens of billions of dollars into domestic R&D. Today, we are witnessing the direct results of those investments. For U.S. financial markets, the situation looks especially alarming. NVIDIA is not just a company. It is a symbol of American technological leadership. Any serious decline in its valuation would automatically drag down the NASDAQ index and trigger a chain reaction across the entire U.S. stock market. Experts from the Wall Street Journal note that a collapse of NVIDIA would strike a heavy blow to the entire tech sector, from server manufacturers to software developers. For if Chinese chips truly managed to replace the H100 and its successors, demand for NVIDIA products would shrink catastrophically. Along with it would vanish investors' confidence in America's ability to maintain leadership in the key technologies of the 21st century. Why are chips so important? because they have become the oil of the new age. If the 20th century revolved around energy resources, today the primary source of power is computing capacity. Artificial intelligence is not just a corporate toy, it is a tool that defines a nation's military, economic, and cultural strength. Whoever runs image recognition algorithms faster has more effective intelligence. Whoever develops stronger language models has superior systems for information analysis and cyber operations. Whoever has cheaper access to computing sees faster economic growth from logistics to medicine. And as long as all of this depends on NVIDIA chips, the US maintains its edge. But if tomorrow it turns out that Chinese solutions are several times faster and significantly cheaper, then Beijing will hold the key to technological leadership for decades to come. 
it is no surprise that the topic of a chip war is already being discussed at the highest political levels. According to the Financial Times, the White House is forming special task forces to assess the scope of the threat. The U.S. Department of Commerce is drafting new restriction packages to block China's access to advanced technologies and lithography equipment. Yet, as experts at MIT Technology Review note, attempts to cut off Chinese engineers may only accelerate their push for domestic solutions. And this is precisely what we are seeing. Rather than slowing down, China has sharply increased the pace of its research. The world thus stands on the brink of a new technological cold war, with stakes higher than ever. This is no longer mere corporate competition. It is a struggle between states for the right to shape the future. And while Jensen Huang publicly reassures investors that NVIDIA is unshakable, insiders describe an atmosphere of unease and even fear within the company. The only question is whether China's claims will materialize or if they are just part of a larger information game. But if even part of these promises proves true, the consequences for the US will be catastrophic. Losing NVIDIA would mean losing the entire American dream of absolute leadership in technology. Yet the most dangerous factor may not even be the Chinese chips themselves, but the effect of expectation. Analysts at Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are already warning clients that mere rumors of upcoming Chinese announcements are enough to create sharp volatility in the stock market. Investors are beginning to price in the risk of a collapse, which means Nvidia shares could lose tens of percent even before actual launches take place. In Silicon Valley, whispers circulate if Chinese designs succeed, the largest American corporations, from Google to OpenAI, may switch to alternative suppliers for the sake of speed and savings. At that point, the blow would hit not just NVIDIA, but the entire U.S. ecosystem, as the established dependence on American technology would be broken. The situation is further aggravated by the fact that the technological race is running parallel to the trade war. According to Politico, Donald Trump is already preparing a new sanctions package aimed at strangling Chinese AI in the cradle. But the problem is that China can no longer be stopped by bans. The country has effectively shifted into a mode of mobilization economy in the technology sector. National funds, universities, and private companies are united in a single network with one goal, to overtake America at any cost. For Beijing, this is not only a matter of technology, but of survival in a world where the U.S. is applying increasing pressure every day. This is why, in the coming months, the world's attention will be fixed on the announcements of Chinese chips. If the presentations prove convincing, if even a single benchmark confirms superiority over NVIDIA, it will mark a point of no return. The U.S. stock market could face its most severe crisis since the dot-com bubble, and the technological map of the world will be redrawn. In such a reality, it will no longer be Washington but Beijing that becomes the center around which new alliances are formed, and then the 21st century will truly become the century of China.